What's up guys, I'm back again and in this video I'm going to talk about something that I've seen a few people ask about. I'm not going to actually be doing a repair, but I'm just going to give you some ideas of how this works because I think I've seen a lot of questions about it. And that is the boost control on an Eaton M90 or probably on most Eaton superchargers. But what I will show you here is if in your GTP or any other M90 car, you're not seeing the boost that you should be seeing. And in a Grand Prix, that's specifically gonna be more than likely, you're either seeing nothing, in which case you have a huge problem, or you're seeing half gauge boost instead of full gauge boost. And I'm gonna show you how the computer controls that, what the parts are, and what to check, and how to know when that's bad. Okay, so on your M90, and this may be a little different from car to car and from Grand Prix to Grand Prix, but right here, you will find the boost control valve. This is a vacuum actuated valve that moves this lever here that opens a butterfly valve inside this that bypasses pressurized air, which is on this side of the supercharger, back up into the non-pressurized side. That's what keeps the supercharger from making boost. Now, 99s and up are plumbed slightly differently than these older ones, so I'll show you the difference in a minute. But basically what you've got, you've got one line that is just whatever the intake manifold pressure is for the most part run to the top side of this solenoid. Then you have another line down here that goes to the bottom side and then runs over to this, which is the boost control solenoid. If you look right there, you should get a pretty good shot of it. And then from there, let's see if you can see this, on the other side, it runs back up to here, which is basically once again, manifold pressure. And what that does is essentially, when there's, pre when there's vacuum on this side, it pulls this valve shut. When there is vacuum on this side, it would pull the valve the other way, which would be open, which is how it's spring loaded anyway. And then what the solenoid is here for is it allows the computer to vent this side open whenever it wants to which is what will keep that from closing and giving you boost when the computer doesn't want it. And there are some situations where it needs to delay boost for a few seconds. I mean, it's not a bad thing, it, it has a purpose. But one thing that I can tell you, this solenoid defaults venting. If it fails, will often just be stuck venting when that happens you'll know because your little boost gauge on the dash will never go above halfway it would seem that even with that vented the supercharger can still make about half boost but can't make any more than that so if you can't make boost or you're not making the right amount the things you want to do is check all of these vacuum lines to make sure that they're all where they're supposed to be. Check to make sure that this electrical plug is plugged in. And then check to make sure that when you apply vacuum to either of these two ports, that this lever moves. If all that is working, then what you're gonna wanna do is take this solenoid off. And with it off, you should be able to apply power by just jumping 12 volts to this, uh, just to power and ground, it's only two pins. You should be able to apply voltage and then not apply voltage while you're trying to blow through it and you should feel it open and close and open and close. If it doesn't do that, this is bad and replacing it will take care of the problem. These are available at regular auto parts stores. Um, you have to look it up as a boost control valve most of the time. So that's pretty much it, hopefully. That gives you a little insight to boost control. And there's one little bonus I'll also show you here. The bypass that people talk about is basically just taking this out of the plumbing. 
And if you do that, then essentially what you're gonna do is anytime you get beyond a certain throttle position, the supercharger is just going to make boost. However, do not ever do that without the ability to tune because when you do, you will start having crazy amounts of spark knock because when this first makes boost, like as soon as you go wide open, the computer's not in fuel enrichment mode yet. And at that point you will run the engine very lean, which could lead to lots of nasty things like detonation, cracked pistons, etc. So I do not recommend that. Okay, so on 99 and newer GTPs, and this is still though I'm only talking about the Gen 3 superchargers, it's basically the same thing. If you look, all the same components are essentially here. The only real difference in the plumbing is that these are teed off of each other and this little vacuum tower here is missing. And other than that, the hoses just look a little different, but for the most part, you're looking at the exact same thing. Okay, so hopefully that was informative and kind of showed you a little bit about how that works. It's a pretty straightforward system, but I mean, if you've never messed with it before, I guess it is, it can be a little strange. I know that my 97 had a bad boost control solenoid on it when I got it, and it was definitely down on power and never saw more than half boost. So that's a really simple thing to replace though. It's literally two vacuum hoses and one 10 millimeter nut that holds the boost control solenoid on. And also, in case you didn't see in the video, there are three nipples on that, but one just has a little foam filter on it, which is sometimes missing. So the third one, which usually has a little metal bracket around it, is not supposed to have a hose attached to it. So if you see that, that's not a problem, that's okay. Anyway, so that's all I have to say for this one. Hopefully, like I said, that was informative. Please drop me a like or let me know that you didn't like it by hitting the dislike button. And other than that, hit that subscribe button if you're new here and make sure that you hit the bell icon so that YouTube will inform you when I upload and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much and peace.